In this video, we will be solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. We are asked to solve for 2x squared plus 2x minus 12 equals 0 using the quadratic formula. Kung merong ibang paraan na sa tingin mo magagamit mo dito, maybe you can extract the square root, maybe you can find a common factor, or maybe you can use, just use the factoring method. Pwede mo yung gamitin. Kasi baka mas mabilis yun. Palaging mabilis o efficient ang paggamit ng quadratic formula, pero palagi siyang effective as long as nasa general form ax squared plus bx plus c equal 0 ang iyong quadratic equation. And since this video is about using quadratic equation, the, I mean quadratic formula, to you solve for quadratic equations, let's just go ahead and do that. So the quadratic formula is denoted as x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of squared minus 4 a all over magiging madali ang lahat if we can identify a, b, and c. Yun ang ating first task. Alamin si a, b, and c. Kung ano man ang lalabas na value, i-plug in na lang sa formula. In this equation, mapalad tayo kasi naka-general form na siya, obviously. Dali natin makikita kung ano yung A. This example's case, that will be B naman, also 2, and C here will be negative 12. Alam na natin yung A, B, and C. Kadagad, pwede na natin i-plug in sa ating quadratic formula. Then, we have x equals negative b. Instead of writing b, alam ko na yung value ni b is 2, yun ay lalagay ko. Pero ilagay ko muna sa parenthesis. Gawin ko siya para sa lahat ng variables natin. Squared will be squared minus 4a so multiplied by a multiplied by c which is negative 12. And natin yung radical sign. And then, lahat yan, divide mo sa 2a. 2 multiplied by a, which is 2. Simplify natin. We now have negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared, which is 4, minus, so hindi ko pa na plug in. a here is 2. Yun. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 multiplied by negative 12, so we have negative 12 times negative 8 parenthesis 8 times that will be then we have times 1 is 8 plus 1 that will be 9 negative times negative is positive, so meron tayong 96, positive 96 divide natin yung lahat by 2 times 2 which is 4 simplifying further now have plus minus 4 plus 96 which is 100 all over 4. Baba tayo konti. We now have x equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 100 which is over 4. Now at this point, kailangan natin consider yung plus or minus. Pagawa tayo ng dalawang equations. Yung una, consider natin yung plus. So we now have x equals negative 2 plus 10. Baka natin divide sa 4. Habang ina sa isa naman, x equals negative 2 minus 10 all over 4. Bakit kailangan dalawa? Kasi this is plus or minus 10. Can be positive 10, can be negative 10. Kailangan natin i-consider parehas because again, the square root of any number is a positive and a negative number. Para maging 100, pwede kang mag-multiply ng 10, positive 10 sa sarili niya. Positive 10 times positive 10 is 100. In the same way, negative 10 times negative 10 is also 100. Kaya kailangan natin lagi i-consider yung positive and negative roots. Simplify natin ha. Nahin natin yung positive, yung plus 10. 
and add 10 so we have negative 2 plus 10 that will be 8 divided by 4 that will be 2 kabilang side consider natin yung minus 10 negative 2 minus 10 will be negative 12 divided by 4 I have negative 3 and that will be the values of x paano natin malalaman kung tama yan edi i-plug in natin dun sa ating original equation tingnan natin the original equation is 2x squared plus 2x minus 12 equals 0 unahin natin i-try yung x equals 2 Tandaan na dalawang value sinakuha natin. 2 and negative 3. So, i-try na natin siya agad dito. 2 negative 3. Try na natin si 2. So, we have 2. Plugging in 2 for x. We have 2 squared plus 2 multiplied by 2 minus 12 equals 0. Kung nag-equate sa 0 yan, ibig sabihin tama tayo. So, 2 squared is 4 times 2 that will be 8 2 times 2 is 4 minus 12 simplify natin ulit so 8 plus 4 is 12 minus 12 is 0 tama tayo sa unang value ng x consider naman natin yung negative 3 yun na tayo sa side na to what if x is negative 3 check natin plugging in, plugging in negative 3 for x we have 2 multiplied by negative 3 squared plus 2 multiplied by negative 3 minus 12 equals 0. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 times 2 that will be 18. Positive 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 minus 12 equals 0. 18 minus 6 is 12 minus 12 is also 0. Means tama yung dalawang values ng x na ating nakuha. So, that's how you use the quadratic formula in solving quadratic equations. Solve for 2x squared plus 3x minus 20 equals 0. Can you do this? Gawin lang yung kaparehong bagay na ginama natin. Hanapin yung A, B, and C. And then, simply plug them in to your quadratic formula. Thank you so much for watching this video. Sana may natutuhan kayo.